So what's good straw gang and welcome to another top classes video now for tonight's upload or whenever this is going up I'm going to be kind of just compressing this down to the top three best long range assault rifles to use after the upcoming AMAX nerf now obviously I don't know how much the, the nerf is going to do to the gun whether it's just going to be some damage multipliers decreased or damage range or bullet velocity or a bit of a recoil increase who knows these are just the best assault rifles to use anyway the top three best at that now the reason it's such a small list is because there's a lot of other good ARs such as the Ram, the Fafar is still fine, uh, the uh, what you call it, the Fara 83, they're good guns but they aren't the long range weapons, they're not the guns that you can use at the same range and distance that you can use the AMAX at and that is why these are the next three best because these can do the most range uh, compared to a lot of the other assault rifles. So like I said guys this is going to be a sweet straight to the point video covering the top three best long range assault rifles to use after the upcoming AMAX nerf. So coming in at the number three spot I'm going to be placing what used to be one of my main favorite assault rifles within Warzone and that is going to be the Kilo. Simply this gun just doesn't hit the same way it used to. In my top SMGs video I mentioned the MAC-10 doesn't hit the way it used to and that kind of is the same situation with the Kilo for me personally. I have used it you know within the last like I don't know week or two I've just tried it here and there in games and it just kind of feels a little bit weak-ish. It doesn't feel like the way it used to, it doesn't hit the way it used to for me personally but nonetheless it is still a reliable assault rifle to use you're still going to get low recoil it's still an accurate easy weapon to use hence why it was a meta weapon i didn't you know pay too much attention on what actually happened to this gun when it got nerfed but all i know is that it got nerfed it got hit in some type of way that just made it not feel the same and that is most definitely the case with the kilo now whether you're a casual player above average whatever like the kilo is going to fit you because it's it's accurate low recoil it's it's just an all-around uh it's a reliable assault rifle hopping into the class setup for this kilo we're going to be rocking a pretty standard class setup that a lot of you guys will be familiar with if you've played Warzone for quite a while now. It's going to be Mono Suppressor, the Syngun Arms 19.8 Prowler Barrel, Commando Grip, the VLK Optic with T-Pose Reticle, that's very important, that is a lethal combo, VLK Optic and the T-Pose Reticle, as well as these 60 round mags. This is a very standard class that a lot of you would have seen. The only thing that was probably different back in the day was, you know, the Optic, maybe someone would use the Canton Hybrid, something else like that, but that is for the attachments, the very standard class setup, and I guess the Optic is the only thing that you change based on personal preference and that's going to be my kilo class setup so coming in at the number two spot i'm going to be placing one of my still personal favorite weapons in this game and that is going to be the m4a1 this is still the test of time just like the modern warfare mp5 it has stayed one of the most reliable assault rifles in the game i'd say of course it didn't really stand the chance against the stronger metas within the game such as the org the m16 the dmr i mean pretty much nothing could compete with them when they were at their peak but of course when that wasn't around it is pretty much just been like the the titan of, of meta weapons in, in warzone i guess you could say it's a very standard class setup for this one as well and i'll get onto that in a second but yeah it's a very easy assault rifle to use just like the kilo and that's pretty much what a meta weapon is it's something that any player no matter what skill level can use and do well with so the class setup is going to be mono suppressor the m16 grenadier barrel as well as commando grip 60 round mags and your optic of choice now the reason I'm leaving this up to your guys' uh, choice instead of just saying VLK Optic is because I've experimented with many different optics on this gun. I've used the, the Monocle Reflex, I think it is. I've used the Core Combat Hollow Sight. I've used the VLK Optic. I've used a handful of optics on this gun and they all feel really good. So, you know, pick your poison, man. Choose what you want to use. I'm not giving a specific optic that you should try out with this one, but all of those are good and many more. A lot of these guns also work very well as support weapons especially the M4. During a time when there was no Fafar car class setup, it was pretty much the M4 with a car 98 or an M4 with an HDR. That was like the go-to support secondary weapon as well. So that does work very good. And coming in at the number one spot, we've already made it to the last weapon on this list. Just because of this video is so short and straight to the point, you know, only three weapons within the video. This is going to be the assault rifle that I feel like ticks every box for a long range weapon that you would use at the same range as the AMAX and it, it just exceeds those expectations for a long range assault rifle and that is going to be the Krieg 6. This is a gun that I have grown to like over the last week or so. I feel like as a main assault rifle this thing absolutely dominates especially with the right setup which I'm going to talk about in just a minute as well as it does good as a close range weapon as well if you have the right class setup and everything like that it can do well as a support weapon and that's pretty much with all of these assault rifles as well that's what is the best thing about them hence why I'm putting them on this list is they all work good for close 
medium as well as long range of course given the right setups for you know the different play styles that you have but with the Krieg 6 my class setup is going to be agency suppressor the ranger barrel field agent grip the 60 round mag or the 60 round fast mag whichever one you prefer as well as the axial arms three times optic this is most definitely the best class for me personally i really like using the ranger barrel which gives it extra bullet velocity and just makes my gun feel like it connects quicker of course you can try out the reinforced heavy barrel i believe it is which gives you damage range and bullet velocity you know side by side it gives you both of those and this gun would absolutely not be on this list without the buff when this thing did get buffed i instantly noticed a difference within how it felt overall because i've tried this gun before before the nerf you know a couple months ago i've used this weapon before and it was an absolute no go for me it felt like such a pea shooter it just felt like it didn't do enough damage to be able to compete with those other assault rifles but after the recent recent buff that this got i absolutely feel like it is up there with the top dogs hence why it's on the number one spot for this list even though there's only three but you know it is at the number one spot and i do feel like it ticks off all those boxes for a long range assault rifle and that is going to be the krieg 6 class setup i'm coming in with an honorable mention that i wanted to chuck in because if i made a top four video that'd be kind of awkward you know you see top three Threes, top fives top tens you don't see a top four so i was just like you know what i'll just sneak this in at the end for, for everyone who watches until the end of the video this gun that i'm going to be putting in is one that i feel like could have fit this list but you know like i said top four is just a bit of a weird video to make it's always top three top fives or top tens so coming in and the honorable mention spot this is going to be the Grau 556. Now, this pretty much has the same situation as the Kilo. It's in the same situation as the Kilo. When this gun was in its prime and it was one of the most used assault rifles in Warzone, it was pretty much the Grau and MP5 setup or the Grau and Kar 98. This thing was so dominant and you saw everyone using it. Pro players, content creators, casuals, everything like that. It was just the main assault rifle, but just like the Kilo, just like the, the MAC-10, it doesn't hit the same. It just doesn't feel as good and I most definitely would prefer the Kilo over this. I've always liked the Kilo as well. The class setup for this is going to be the Mono Suppressor, the Tempest Archangel Barrel, Commander Foregrip, 60 round mags and an optic of choice. I'm leaving it open again because I've tried multiple with this gun and I haven't really found one that is the absolute best. If I had to say something it would be the VLK optic but that's biased just because I use it on everything that's at long range. Every assault rifle, every LMG, it goes on all of them. So I'm kind of biased to towards that because I do use it on everything so put on what you want figure out what feels good for you and rock with that but for the rest of the attachments like I said mono suppressor tempest archangel barrel commander full grip 60 round mags and then the optic of choice we have now officially made it to the end of this top three assault rifles to use after the amax nerf and the growl is the honorable mention I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I wanted to make another one like this because the last one did so well it's got 34k views in a week which is that's insane so thank you guys so much for the support on that last video thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button sub to the channel if you're brand new with post notifications on we're shooting for 20k subs we're 5k away so you know if you want to become a part of that and help us hit that number i'd really appreciate that so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one have a great day everybody and i'm out